be honest, Dom's the reason I'm here. To check him out for yourself and to find out what's happened to my sister. If you or any of your family come near me again, I'm pressing charges. You don't want to go anywhere near the boys in blue. you got too much to hide. I'll say it again. Stay away. Clinical expenditure report's gone missing and I've got a board meeting tomorrow. Oh, you're joking. You deleted it, didn't you? You can't blame me for your own incompetence. It's me. It's about Avril. I need your help. What are you doing this afternoon? Doesn't matter. Some girl I met at the club didn't mean anything. If it didn't mean anything, then why did you do it? I don't know. Man, didn't didn't she think about me at all? Listen, Shannon, I think about you all the time. How to cheer you up, how to get closer to you. But you always think about Tama. That is not true. But I can't believe that we are doing this again. The trip to Samoa meant a lot to me. But hey, staying here makes life easier for Thomas. So what do you do? Ask yourself the question, Shannon. Tama always comes first. Who am I with? You, not Tama. Yeah, but is that what you really want? Is it? Because I don't think so. Yes, I just wanted to confirm that your personnel department had received my CV. Uh, I emailed it this morning. Yes, I'll hold, thanks. I take it you heard that? Well, I couldn't help it. You're not really planning on leaving. Well, just keeping my options open, but I'd appreciate if you just kept that to yourself for the time being. Of course. Listen, this is not because I've taken over your clinical work, is it? Because the offer to hand it back still stands. No, oh, Dr. Solomon would just assign it to someone else. My arguments with him to Hana, not with you. Uh, was there a reason you wanted to see me? Oh, yes. Um, some of the wards aren't telling me about empty patient beds until after midday. Oh, well, the best thing to do is nab the house surgeon just after the doctor's rounds in the mornings. You should be able to tell you who's been discharged. Right, thanks. And for what it's worth, I hope you stay. Oh, you wanted some? I just want to tell you my apartment's been broken into. What? Terrible. What did the police say? Oh, I'm heading back shortly to wait for them. Maybe it's time to start thinking about getting an alarm. So, did you lose much? Why don't you tell me? I had nothing to do with it. Oh, come off it. You two have already broken into my apartment once this week. Excuse me, but the door wasn't locked. Andrew's right. You really should start thinking about that alarm. And you should start thinking about what you're going to tell the cops. You keep talking about going to the police. Funny how you never actually get there. We've been here all day. I've been working the wards. You can ask Judy. And I've been busy typing that report for Andrew that so mysteriously vanished, remember? You think you're so clever. But you are way out of your depth. Not that crazy. I never said you was. No, I did. It's purely a clinical diagnosis. So have you sorted out stuff with your car yet? I thought Jake was the bossy one. <sighs> the evening. Hello. Look, about my car. Next payday will be fine. I'll get it fixed and you can pay me back when you've got the money. I'm overcome with gratitude. In the meantime, I want an update on my sex life. I'm aiming for a member of the DHB next. I'm sorry. I was out of line. Your private life is none of my business. Oh, give that man a chocolate fish. Look, how about we call a truce? Or we could at least pleasantly ignore each other. I could do that. 
always good. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget the fish. Hey, I'm just heading off home. I thought you might want to grab coffee. I'd rather just grab some food and head home. Another time, maybe. Sure. Oh, has, um, has Bernadette typed up the minutes from the latest HOD meeting? I don't know, sorry. Well, I'd like to check her entry. Yeah. Night. Good night. We are. Yeah, well then tell me what's happened. I think me and Shannon just broke up. Oh, hallelujah for that. Talia? What do you mean you think? Well, she didn't actually say it, but she was pretty upset. This wouldn't have anything to do with the other night, would it, at the club? Yes, yeah, OK, you guys were both right. Something did happen. The girl. And I owned up to Shannon. Mm, boy. Well, don't ask me why, because I don't know. Well, it's about time. What? It's always going to happen. That time at the nightclub, that's the first time I've seen you have fun since we got here. If that's what it takes to get the old Vinny back, I say you need more of it. Well, what about Shannon? She must be really upset. Have you ever seen her happy? Hello? Vinny is hurting here? No, no, no. Shannon's hurting. Because I'm the creeper cheated on her. Oh, I don't have mine. I didn't realise there was anyone here. You want a coffee? Uh, no, thanks. I'm fine. Get the bike queer? Yeah, yeah, I'd better uh, head back to the cafe. Shannon, what's happened? Nothing. And I'm so stupid. You're not stupid. Cut it all, my darling. Tell me what's wrong. It's funny. Yeah. I just found out he cheated on me. Kaya <sighs> I guess I, I guess I got what I deserved, right? Oh, oh sweetheart, I would not wish that on anyone. Nobody deserves to be hurt like that. 